start with Thursday Night Football. I'm pulling up the spreads right now, but we do know that the matchup is Chiefs versus the Denver Broncos, who are on your top five worst teams in the NFL list. So what do you expect from this game, and can the Broncos even do anything? Well, if we're going to answer that question, we have to look back at history. And if we're going to do that, we would see that the Broncos have not beaten the Chiefs since Patrick Mahomes took over the helm. And they have lost the last not one, not two, not three. We don't have time. Last 15 games, they have not beaten the Chiefs. It's almost been a full season of games, and they have not beaten them. 15? They haven't won since Alex Smith, like before Alex Smith was on their team. Really? So they were losing to the Alex Smith Chiefs, too, with like Jamal Charles and Twain Bowe, Jeremy Macklin? Yeah. Wow. So they haven't beaten the Chiefs since, I think, 2014. So am I betting against the defending champions to lose to the lowly Broncos, who are the fifth worst team, according to the Brickyard podcast? I don't think so. I don't know. What's the spread on this game? Ten and a half. Ten and a half? Yeah. And they're in Kansas City. In Kansas City. Oh, let's also look at this team as well. On pace to be the worst defense in NFL history, giving up 37 points a game. And that Chiefs defense, probably the best defense we've seen probably since, I would say, at least the 2019 team. So this is going to be an easy game for me to pick. I'm taking the Chiefs in a blowout. Yeah, Yeah, Chiefs in a blowout. And the funny thing is about this game is the Commanders came back from a three-score deficit by running the football um, and then the Jets also broke the game open by what running the football. The Bears were able to run the football effectively. And just looking at this matchup, we have Isaiah Pacheco, who seemingly rips off a big run every single game, no matter who he's playing. So if there's anyone set up to just dominate in a tough Thursday night football game, the Broncos just lost to the Jets. Sean Payton is feeling pretty embarrassed right now. He's feeling like a silly goose for all the smack talk. He spewed in the offseason and all of this nonsense so i feel like after losing to the jets and zach wilson you're like damn we gave up all of those yards to Brees hall isaiah pacheco's coming to town and patrick mahomes is pretty much undefeated on prime time and we've never beat him before i can't imagine that the broncos are feeling good coming into this game and then after this game you're probably gonna lose about it's probably gonna be like 38 to 13 in this game i would guess and then jerry judy wants out you already traded randy gregory so this game it's not like who's gonna win it's how many of the broncos players are gonna be like we're done pat Sertain, do you think he's someone who wants to leave this situation probably and then you can't really pay anyone on this team because of russell wilson so i feel like this is gonna be the game it's like all right we're listening to calls for everyone on the team please call about russ (laughs) yeah And with Russell Wilson, you know, the narrative right now is like, oh, well, he's played better this season. Okay, that's true. He's played better. But at the same time, look at that defense. And secondly, look at his numbers when it matters. Yeah. Like, it's awesome that he can get garbage yards when their defense has given up 70 points. But when it matters, he can't make that big play. I mean, nearly came down with it against the commanders. But other than that, this team is not good. Yeah, no, like Russell Wilson is giving me Case Keenum vibes with the Vikings, which is fine if you're not getting paid $200 million. It's like you're getting paid to be an elite quarterback. To com- You were brought here to compete with the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes. You were our plan after Aaron Rodgers, but you're supposed to be to that level. Your idol is Drew Brees, and you've fallen off. And like, sure, he's playing better this year, but the expectation is not to be better. The expectation is not to be passable. The expectation is to be transcendent, and the check shows that they wrote they wrote you a blank check and said here you go you can't just be mediocre like oh yeah he's fine he has a good touchdown to interception ratio okay but in the fourth quarter when it really matters unless it's versus the bears you haven't been able to deliver yeah no they haven't been able to deliver and honestly it kind of goes down to coaching as well i haven't liked their play calling on the defensive side or honestly on the offensive side either so This team is going nowhere fast, and the Chiefs are going to take advantage of them. Yeah, uh, Broncos going nowhere slowly. And then 